Like airless, air assisted airless uses higher fluid pressures than air spray. Therefore, it is critical that all of your fluid connections on the gun be secure. Since air assisted airless combines the air of an air spray gun with the fluid atomization of an airless, it's critical that you maintain both the air cap and the tip. As the tip wears, you may notice a distortion in your spray pattern or the amount of material coming out of the gun may increase. This is why it's critical to note your flow rates. Inside the air cap is the tip. A critical maintenance item is the seal that is located inside the tip. That should be replaced over a period of time as it will compress and then it will no longer seal the tip properly against the head of the gun. The gasket on the outside of the seat assembly is what separates the fan air from the atomizing air on your air assist airless air cap. If you are not getting any more fan pattern adjustment, it may be due to this gasket being worn. Like the airless gun, the air assist airless gun also has a seat assembly. This area should be inspected for leaks. If it is leaking, it may be due to some debris or due to a worn seat. The Air Assist Airless also has air holes in the seat assembly and in the head of the gun. These should be maintained and free of any type of paint or coating. Air Assist Airless guns also use a cartridge to seal the fluid from the body of the gun. When a leak occurs, it's an indication that the cartridge is no longer functioning and it needs to be replaced. Like the air spray gun, we recommend that the threads be lubricated on the fan adjustment knob. In general, we recommend that the operator maintain the filter assembly on the fluid inlet of the gun. This filter is critical in preventing tip clogging and when the filter becomes clogged, it could cause a loss of fluid pressure at the gun, causing poor atomization. To clean the filter, the operator should remove the screen from the screen support and clean the screen in some solvent with a bristle brush. Next, he should clean the screen support and make sure that all the fluid pathways on the support are open.